In this lecture, we're going to look at navigating by the sun. When I say navigating by the sun, I don't mean finding your position on the planet using the sun like you might with a, a, a sextant. What I mean is finding direction from the sun. So to be able to navigate by the sun, you must first know how the sun works. You don't have to be a PhD astronomer to be able to do this. You just need to know a few simple facts which we'll go over in this course. Now navigating by the sun is a pretty cool thing to be able to do. Having this ability means you won't be totally dependent on a compass to find your way. An ability to navigate by the sun makes you a better navigator and increases your confidence in the great outdoors. Picture this. You're following a westerly compass course through the dense, swampy woods, late one uh, woods, late in the morning on, on a sun, sunny day. Your catching feature is the more or less north-south road where you left your Jeep. A blister develops on your foot and you stop to treat it before it gets worse. After taking care of your foot, you enjoy a snack and some water. But sometime later, you head out once again for the road. After walking a short way, you reach into your pocket for your compass. It's not there. Maybe you set it down when you stopped a while back. You backtrack but can't find it. In the slight panic, you've gotten turned around and you aren't sure which way it is back to the road. Now, what will you do? How will you find your Jeep? Let's look at a couple of scenarios. Scenario one, you cannot navigate by the sun. With no ability to navigate by the sun, you're in trouble. You set out for the road making your best guess where it is. Unbeknownst to you, you're actually not following a straight path, but wandering in a wide circle because that's what disoriented humans so often tend to do. Night falls and you can't navigate by the stars or the moon either. Eventually, a couple of days later, a search and rescue team locates you, tired, dehydrated, hungry, and embarrassed. Okay, so now let's look at scenario two. In scenario two, you can navigate by the sun. Since it's at least a partly sunny day, the loss of your compass is only a minor inconvenience. It's shortly before noon, and knowing the sun in your part of the world, we'll say you're in the northern hemisphere, is more or less in the south around 1200, that's 24 hour time for 12 p.m., around 1200 clock time, you use the sun's position to reorient yourself. Then keeping the south bearing sun off your left shoulder, you continue walking in a westerly direction, arriving at the road about 45 minutes later. Rocket science? No way. Just the good sense of a competent wilderness navigator. The sun provides backup navigational information. Even with a compass, a good navigator will take notice of the sun when it's available, since a good navigator never likes to rely on any one piece of information. The sun's position reassures you that your compass is accurate, or inaccurate as the case may be. Having determined your intended direction with a compass or maybe a GPS, notice where the sun is while heading in that direction. Then, instead of following either instrument, you may find it easier to use the sun as a temporary directional guide. Since the sun moves across the sky at 15 degrees per hour, think about it, there are 360 degrees in a circle and 24 hours in a day, so 360 divided by 24, that's your 15 degrees per hour. So the sun moves across the sky at 15 degrees per hour. You know this, you can use, since you know this, you can use the sun's guidance with reasonable accuracy for about 20 minutes. Or instead of using the sun, 
you can use shadows to guide you. In scenario two, in which you could navigate by the sun, to keep the south bearing sun off your left shoulder, make sure your shadow falls to your right and guide off your shadow instead of off the sun. In this situation, the shadows of trees and other objects should lie across your path. If they begin to lie parallel to your path, you'll know you're going in the wrong direction. After learning to navigate by the sun, um, and after some practice, you should be able to find directions by the sun within about 10 degrees. If you make good use of your pathfinding skills, such accuracy should be sufficient to help you find your way across the terrain.